Hello and welcome! In today's video, we will be playing House of Gold by 21 Pilots. In the beginning, we don't really have a sound of a chord ringing. We have more of a mute. So what you do to get this sound is I want you to take your index and middle fingers and rest them on the strings. No, don't press, don't squeeze. Let go, let go, let go. Imagine your hair is just a feather resting on the strings and you want this sound. Then what you're going to do with your ring finger is hold down that C chord and you're gonna keep the rest of the strings muted. And then the strumming pattern here is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And that happens for the entire first section of the song. It goes a lot faster than this, but just because we're learning the song, I'm gonna go at this speed. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, and down. Then the words. Ask me, son, when I grow up, will you? For the next section we are going to strum through the chords all the strings so we want to play c twice down down up up down f a minor g and that will sound like this one two ready go ask me son For the next section, we have a slight change. So you're going to go to a C twice, then F. And now here's the part that's different in the strumming. We're only going to do one strumming pattern for C, then G. Then we go back to normal, two strumming patterns. So let's do that entire section, starting with C, then F. F, one, two, one, two, C, go, again, F, A minor, G, C, F, one strumming pattern, back to two. Add the words to this one, two, ready, go. Ask me, son, when I grow up, will you buy me a house of gold? And when your father turns to son, fast switch, you get with me. Nice job. Okay, now let's go to the next section. In this section, all of the chords will have the strumming pattern twice. So we start with an F and you're going to do the strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, before switching to A7. Same strumming pattern that we've been doing. So that's a nice review. Then D minor. And here's where we have a challenging chord. That's the B flat minor. So what I'm doing is I'm using my index finger as close to the fret wire as possible. You can actually put your index finger over the fret wire at first and then roll it back so that you use the bony side of your finger to hopefully find all the strings it's ringing. So you want to start just ringing the strings C, E, and A. Okay. You want to make sure those ring. Then you can add the ring finger. But let's say that that's too much work. Then just focus on getting those three strings, C, E, and A, and you can use all three fingers. Look up, you can use all three fingers and just play those. Make sure you're not touching string G, just make sure you're playing C, E, and A, and that's a cheating way of getting B flat minor without getting having to do the bar. So you can do the song, you can totally do it. You can just cheat for yourself just for this one little itsy bitsy chord. After the B flat minor, you have F, Again twice, then C, then F, then C, 
and that's it so let's try playing through here remember you can cheat on the b flat minor here we go one two one two ready go The rest of the song follows these two sections. The section where you have the C, F, A minor, G, and this section with the F, A7, D minor, and B flat minor. So that's good. Now, if you want to make it sound even better, this is something that I tell my patrons every single week. So I teach every single week on Zoom, and we all turn on our cameras and have a live lesson. You're welcome to join us. By the way, just join my Patreon and you can join us on the lessons. But something that I tell my Patreon family every single week is that don't do the same strumming pattern for the whole song. Because what you do when you do that is that you're just repeating. You're not making something grow and sound more interesting and sound exciting. When I listen to House of Gold, it starts with just one little note, right? And then it goes to strumming. That's a pretty exciting shift, right? What I hear after the bridge, after that... Um, this section I hear drums come in and so um, you can do a different strumming pattern to make it sound fun so what I was doing to change things up is down down up down up down up down down up so this is what it will sound like I'll play it slower so that you can play along with me but I want you to feel how important it is to change the song and not do the same thing and I'll come back to that. Okay. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Yes. So when you're playing a song for someone, the person listening, one, yes, they love it. It's fun. But you can get a little awkward when it's just, you know, when you're playing for someone and all they have to do is listen. And if you're going through repeating sections, like going back to a verse or going back to a chorus and playing in the same way, the person's going to start thinking, okay, how long is this song? And not in a mean way. It's just like, it, it's it's an awkward position there and I'm just like watching you play right so what you want to do is change it make it interesting make it exciting make them want to wonder what's coming next so that's a way that you can do that um you can also add a chuck to sound like the drums if you don't know how to chuck I have a tutorial for that but basically what I'm doing is I'm twisting my hand on the down strum and smacking the strings with, look up, this part of my hand on the way down. So it's just like the down, down, up, up, down, up, but I'm replacing two of those down strums with drum sounds. playing house of gold if you do perform it or do a cover of it anywhere make sure and tag me or use the hashtag euglandia because i really love seeing your performances and if you'd like to join us on weekly lessons on patreon find me on patreon.com slash bernadette teaches music and if you cannot attend the live lessons i always share the replay link so all of the patrons that would like to see it can see it on the replay i hope to catch you on the next one subscribe and like Ciao! Today's audio was edited by Jonathan and here is a video that I think you'll like if you liked this one.